YouTube, Topaz Jace back for another daily review, and this one is to the game All Eyes featured Jeremiah. And you know, the first thing you got to say when you hear this new track is the game just been putting in a lot of work, man. Putting in way more work than a lot of other people were doing. Because if you think about it, he just did the documentary 2, 2.5, and brought it all together with the bonus tracks and all of that too. Did the whole Streets of Compton documentary and the soundtrack to go along with it. Got the mobile game app that he's been working on coming up shortly. And this is ultimately the first single that he's gonna have off his next project called 1992 where that's gonna be straight up independent. And this is the type of hustle that you have to have if you're going to be an independent, you feel me? But yet ultimately there comes a line where it's like, okay, either you're flooding the market or you're keeping your name out there. You gotta kind of walk that thin line. I honestly don't believe he's spacing out his projects enough, but in the end, can't be mad at the man for grinding hard. So this track is ultimately a female friendly type single where he's using a whole bunch of sexual innuendos in order to capture the mind of that fan base and such with it being produced by Scott Storch. And you know, Scott Storch, I'm happy to see him off the pipe long enough to go ahead and start doing more production. But honestly, it's not that great of a track, man, especially how the game is rapping in the early stages of this track. It kind of sounds like, okay, he got a lot of influence from Kendrick Lamar and he's ultimately trying to be more complicated than what he's used to and what's needed for this particular track. And the thing here, man, he's definitely shouted out Karuchi's name, and this may be something that Rick Ross may have gotten right on that same whole song, where he was alluding to everybody having the same caliber of women and everything, man, but yet, Everybody just constantly shouting out Karuchi in all of these songs. And yes, even though it was dry snitching from Rick Ross, it seems as though it may be somewhat truthful. But overall, the song I would recommend people to go ahead and skip past. But this concludes today's review, and now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Jackson Yulin before we jump into the news and then jump into an article from DownloadPass.com. album is still number one on the Billboard charts, but been number one for seven weeks in a row now, in which this is the first time someone has gone this far in 16 years since Eminem and the Marshall Mathers LP, which that only did eight weeks. So it's going to be very interesting by the time things end on how big this project actually is. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com, and today's article was about false pride. Because here's the thing, a lot of people take pride in things that makes no sense for you to take pride in. Like, yes, you want to take pride in things like your family, raising your kids, right? Take pride in your work and being your own boss and doing all of that, man. Take pride in that in order to make yourself better. But don't take pride in simple things like saying that you're a real hip-hop or you're a real trapper and all of that. Like, you're putting pride in things that really don't matter. Because the more you understand about the music business, the more you realize it's all business. It's all about making money, providing for your family, providing for your people. But sadly, it's the people who don't recognize that always want to say that the brand of rap or their brand of hip hop is better than everyone else's brand simply because it's their brand of music and that makes no sense. All you're doing is just hating on people for no reason. Focus on the things that you should take pride in. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there and you can go to DownloadPads.com that's down there to read today's article.